Yesterday I called seller support because I am tired of getting things stuck, either suppressed um, or stranded when other sellers delete an item that they make contributions to. Seller support gave me a very amazing trick that you can do. Um, you have to ask for this to be um, turned on, but you can go to your um, inventory, go to inventory reports, now this will not be enabled until you actually ask them to enable it and it will only be enabled for seven days but it's called the category listings report if you go to your drop down right now you're not going to see it because it hasn't been enabled but once you ask they'll enable it if you click category listings report and it'll give you every single category that you have products in and all you do is you pick a category let's say baby and I'm going to request the report once the report is ready, I can download the report. And similar to how you use the variation wizard, uh, once it's downloaded, you can actually um, re-upload it and it will get, add merge fields to all of your listings. So basically, the only way to save your listing, if you're on a listing and somebody else created it, and then they go and delete it and all the information disappears, this is a way when you upload this report into your um, file, it will fill in the bullet points, descriptions, keywords, everything, so that if they delete it, you still have the contributions to that listing and it will not get deleted or suppressed. So you download it, you, up, you open the file, you go down, scroll over to the template tab, bam, there's all the um, data upload for that category for and it's matched to your SKU. So when you re-upload it, it's not duplicating the product. It is simply adding the title bullet points descriptions to your listing. Now because I have a Mac, I have to then convert it to Excel. If you already are saving it in Excel, then you don't have to convert it. But I'll just call it um, category baby. I'll save the document. And then once you save it, <clears throat> You're just going to re-upload it and you will then have all the contributions to all the listings that you're on in your inventory. And like I said, the benefit to that is that whoever made the listing, when they delete it and all their contributions go with it, you then have a copy and everything stays in place and you are not then trying to figure out how to recreate the listing again, which happens to me all the time. I have suppressed all the time. You, so once you download it and save it, you go to add products via upload, up, check and upload your inventory file, scroll down to the second section. This needs to say inventory files for non-media categories. Choose a file and then you go ahead and you find the one that you just made, category baby, upload it. And then as you can see, um, I did a bunch of them yesterday. 49 were submitted. Um, you know, 1,162. This is for each of the categories. So now for all these SKUs in my inventory, I have the complete data information saved on my end. So it doesn't matter who deletes it because since I have the contributions made, the listing will just stay the same. So I recommend um, if you have a lot of inventory, go ahead and reach out to seller support. Ask them to go ahead and... Um, give you access to the category listings report. Like I said, you'll have seven days. It doesn't take seven days. You get the, get the um, approval for it. It pops up in your inventory. You just download every category, save it, upload it, and you're good. And I plan to do this you know, every couple months or anytime I have to call and talk to the catalog team while I'm on the phone, I may just ask them to go ahead and enable it for me. And it's not a big deal, and they will do it. Um, and then you can just keep, you know, basically adding to your inventory, the data, bullet points, description, keywords. And so then nothing can be lost and it just helps you stay live on your listings, no matter what other seller decides that they want to delete inventory. So I hope this wasn't confusing and I hope it helps. Uh, I certainly was happy to learn this little trick. Thank you.